Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add multiple images to the same uh, print setup so that you can either, specifically for DTF, so you can print gang sheet type style uh, prints, or you can just, you know, if you have a whole bunch of smaller, say, say um, pocket size images, if you want to print a whole bunch of them on the same uh, sheet, how to do that. So, First thing that we're gonna do is set up our work area. Um, you're probably looking at this if you're wondering how did I get this print area here for um, an A3 DTF film sheet. I have another video on that which I'll link to at the top. This is basically just helpful for me so that I don't accidentally print off of the film since the film doesn't cover uh, the complete platen, okay? All right, so in this case, what we're gonna do is we are going to add our designs, multiple designs, uh, to print on this sheet of DTF film. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to file, uh, la, da, 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 file, uh, excuse me. What we are going to do is go up to edit and then multi-image. What this is going to do is shoot us um, into our computer to find those files. I have a couple of them right here. And I am going to, let's just say I want these three. I'll click open. Okay, so it puts us in this other panel, which is where you can see all three of the files have um, opened. Now, they're all on top of each other. They are all very large right now. As you can see, they're each about 35 inches by 35 inches, and we don't need them nearly that long, that large. So we can do a couple of things. Um, with each one, I'll show you kind of a different uh, thing. So we've got Hot Mess Express here. Let's say we only want that one to be uh, six inches. So we are going to, actually what I'm going to do is six inches. Uh, so that one has now resized. Okay. And the next thing that we are going to do is we are now on to the second one. So we can do size this one a, a different way. We will scale it down this way by just selecting it and pulling. And what you can see is that as I'm pulling these, watch, watch the dimensions here as I change the size here, see how that's doing that, okay? And then that brings me to this third one here, the let me overthink it, and for this one, we'll just change the scale. Let's change that to 20%, which is now over here on the side and actually gonna have trouble finding that one. Um, let's see, I'm gonna fit it to the platen and then I'll resize it, okay? So if anything ever disappears, you can do that just like our top one here, it disappeared. I'm gonna tell it that I want it to fit to platen so that it comes right back to center. And then we'll size that one even further down. Again, we'll do that to 20%. Okay, so now we have all three of these um, that will print on the same uh, DTF um, sheet. Now let's say I want to just change, I wanna you know, duplicate this one. I'm, you know, I need three of these, all right? I don't need to add it in three times. I can keep it selected and then click duplicate and it will duplicate. It did it right over top, so you'll just need to position that and then we'll duplicate it again. Okay, and same thing here. Okay, and then if there's anything else that you wanna do, let's say you wanna add one more, you're like, oh, I have a little bit more room, let me add one more, you can click this image here, and then, or that little tool icon there, we'll find another one we wanna to add to this set. And that will open up, again, really big, as you can see. So we will fit that to platen, and then I'm gonna adjust it also to 20%, but I may need to scale it down even more to fit in that space, okay? Now, once you have all of your designs, and really this is probably most likely going to be used for DTF, because unless you are putting multiple images together for uh, direct to garment, you're not printing you're printing on a shirt, so I don't think, <laughs> at least, that you would want a whole bunch of crazy stuff like this all on one shirt. This would be more for DTF, okay? So once you've got that all set up, then you click OK, and it's gonna shoot you back over into Garment Creator where you're used to seeing it, and you can you know, finish setting up your settings, and then obviously when you are connected to your printer, you can go to print. Now you do wanna make sure <clears throat> that your designs are all um, that you want to make sure that your design specifically for DTF are 
uh, reversed. So I am going to flip, and it flips all of them, as you saw there. And then, because uh, as you know, DTF needs to be printed in mirror. So that's how you're going to do it. If you need to add multiple images or you want to create um, either duplicates or basically gang sheets, um, you're going to be limited with the Epson 2100. You are going to be limited to uh, 16 by 20 for DTF transfers. That's the largest size uh, platen that's available. And then so you can pair that with 16 by 20 DTF film. And then if you have a uh, 16 by 20 DTF curing um, oven, you'll be all set. But uh, this is how you will set that all up.